Hey, how you guys doing? I'm Nate Anime, and welcome back to my channel. Today on the channel, I will be playing Forza Horizon 3 for the very first time as a full game. Um, if you guys didn't know, um, I'm very, very new to the Forza Horizon franchise. In fact, Forza Horizon 4 was my first game I was actually ever to play fully as a full game and not a demo. Well, the Forza games I've ever played were always demos. Um, I've never actually been able to uh, play any Forza Horizon uh, games up until Forza Horizon 4, so this is actually very, I'm actually very fortunate to be uh, playing this game, especially since it's no longer on the Microsoft Store anymore, and yes, I do have all the DLC for it. I made sure to buy all that. I've actually had the game for quite some time, but I've never actually had any time to play it, but I figured right now, would be the best time to play this game. But yeah, besides that, I've been playing nothing but, you know, Forza Motorsport demos and even the Forza Horizon demos, both all 1, 2, 3, and even 4. So yeah, this will be the second time me playing uh, a Forza Horizon game as the full game and not a demo, which is really, really a better experience when you play the game like as the full game instead of just the demos which I'll admit the demos are pretty lit but also another reason why I'm doing this uh, if you didn't know Forza Horizon 5 is literally right around the corner and this game is kind of the closest thing that you can get to Forza Horizon 5 right now at least uh, dynamic in like dynamic ways and stuff like that like it, it's very 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 like the, the layout and everything desert beach and all that stuff it's very similar to Forza Horizon 5's map so yeah apparently I'm already kind of in the game I think it has something to do with me playing the demo I think because I, I don't remember this being like this I, w I was expecting the opening screen but apparently I'm already kind of in so that's interesting um but yeah first of all I gotta do some settings and then we can get to the main game here all right so yeah so far I mean this game looks really 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 great this is basically I'm going to assume what <laughs> Forest Horizon 5 is going to look like I mean, it's just, it's just very, very, very similar to how Forza Horizon 5 looks. It's kind of cool. Now, one thing I did notice, though, I am definitely going to have to change this uh, into manual mode, because uh, automatic here is uh, not working out for me. Got to go for all the little tutorials they got here. This one should be easy, just outrun this guy. But yeah, man, this game is awesome. Look at the ocean, though. Yo, so this is what Forza Horizon 5 is going to potentially look like. This is awesome, bro. The thing about this game is... You know, it, this was kind of like the first game that actually got me really interested in Forza. Like, I, I remember playing number one and number two. They were alright, but number three was kind of cool. And also, I remember this one also being the, like, flagship game for... Microsoft's crossplay ability in games, uh, specifically only for uh, Microsoft, of course. The thing about the uh, Forza Horizon 5 trailer, they had a piece of the trailer that looked very similar to this area, which is pretty cool. This is why I'm considering this game, Forza Horizon 3, to be like the closest thing to Forza Horizon 5. But I mean, just again, it's just very, very, very similar in many ways. <laughs> This is one of those ways. I mean, it has desert, it has beach, everything. It's kind of awesome. So yeah, we got a very interesting lineup of first cars here. We got the BMW M4, we got the Nissan Silvia Spec R, we got the Ford Shelby GT3 50R, and then we have the HSV Limited Edition Gen FGTS Maloon. I hope I pronounced that right. For all you Australians out there, I'm sorry, I, I this is a very new car to me. But yeah, we are in Australia, so I don't know. Now, normally, I'm not going to pick the BMW. I would never pick the BMW. Um, the Nissan Silvia Spec R would obviously be my first car to choose 
but we are in Australia, so it only makes sense to drive these Utes around. <laughs> It just makes sense. This is a very, very Australian car. I'm gonna go with this car as my first car in Forza Horizon 3. Since we are in as Australia, as they come. <laughs> should we do the uh, license plate from uh, Forza Horizon 4 and just do the oo? I think I might do the oo Ute. All right, and there we go. We got the oo license plate, which I'll be very honest with you. It hits differently on this game. I don't know what it is. It doesn't see. It doesn't feel. As cool as it does on uh, Forza Horizon 4, it hits differently on here. I don't know why, but yeah, yeah, we got the Uwu license plate on there. Gotta go with that. Oof! Some Australian muscle right there, boys. That is awesome. Let's see here. Also, something I gotta change. We gotta change the uh, the manual. I I cannot do. I cannot do automatic, we gotta do manual. Here we go. Hopefully the buttons are set up the same way. Yep. Alright. We can um pass these guys here now. As in the handling. I don't know if the handling is any different from uh Forza Horizon 4. I know it's probably going to be similar. That's for sure. What exactly is like um like the youth's purpose I like I, I know it's like a um, it's very similar to like the El Camino that we had in the United States but I'm um, like is it kind of like you know can it actually is it actually like capable of doing some really good like off-roading or is it just like a like a street car that you could just have a trunk with you know like a big um, pickup truck trunk I don't know but it, it would be nice to see some of these in the United States if that ever does happen because basically all these are are just um uh, for all you Americans you actually don't know <laughs> most of these cars that are over in Australia are actually brung over to the United States and rebadged as Pontiacs or Chevys for example I think the Chevy SS is actually a Holden vehicle in fact I think it's actually this particular vehicle but uh, obviously with a trunk Ooh. Oh, that's a different, um, okay, that's different. <laughs> Choke it up, boss, that's a win! That's very different. Nice to come, I hope. Not bad, though. Not bad. The, uh, the handling's, um, kind of okay. It's easy to get used to, then again, I haven't really, um, changed the, uh, handling, uh, difficulties yet. Alright, so, I kind of made the avatars, the drive avatars, a little bit more um, difficult so I can at least have some type of a challenge here. So we're in the cockpit view now. Let's see how um, that looks. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Crazy. Front view is actually pretty nice. I got this view. Pretty good and... Oh god. Why is there so much rain on the screen? Uh, that, that's not like that in um, Forza Horizon 4, is it? trying to remember if it is. Oh my gosh. What is up with the raindrops on the screen? I'm blinded. I can't see. But yeah, so far the handling is pretty good. Um, again, the driver cars are on a much higher difficulty now. And kind of set it similar to how I have it on Forza Horizon 4. And so far, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. That's actually pretty good. It, it drives good. The handling feels a little bit weird. A little strange, but it feels good. It feels good though. Slider in there. Whew. Oh my gosh, I like those um those ending scenes for the uh, the races. Why don't we have those in um for the Horizon 4? So I think this will be the part where we finally get into the festival and then we can start looking around at cars. Unfortunately though, I think I'm after we get to uh, Byron Bay, I'm probably going to end the video here and um, we'll continue on in the next video. I'm going to continue doing all these Forza Horizon 3 videos probably until Forza Horizon 5 comes out because um, again, look at this though, but wow, it's kind of crazy. But yeah, just um... I'm going to be doing these videos until uh, Forza Horizon 5 comes out because 
This game's just so similar to Forza Horizon 5. It's like the closest thing to Forza Horizon 5 to me. Just look at this landscape. Oh my goodness. Yeah, like, this is basically what Forza Horizon 5 is going to look like. Um, do I have to, like, ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah. So yeah, if you guys like me playing in Forza Horizon 3, uh, make sure to leave a like, let me know down in the comments. I'm very new to Forza Horizon 3, so, like, you know, tell me all the good stuff on, you know, like, what to do, how to do these things, because it's really, really a new thing for me. Again, this game does play much differently than Forza Horizon 4, so... If there's anything I really need to do in Forza Horizon 3, please let me know. Because I'd be very, very interested. First Byron Bay, then Australia, then... Actually, I think we might just stay in Australia. It's awfully nice here. Love your work so far, boss. Kira said I should get you set up with another car for this next set of races. Take a look at these, and whichever you fancy is yours to keep. So let's see, we got the Range Rover, we got the Lamborghini Urus, I'm assuming this is the, uh, the concept. That is a very fugly looking Urus. <laughs> uh, we got the Jeep Cherokee SRT, and then we got the BMW. Uh, this is a strange array of vehicles. Uh, honestly, I mean, even though it looks very fugly, I might end up going for the Urus. I probably would have went for the Jeep, but then they threw the Urus at me, so... Yeah. Yeah, I'll probably get this. Oh, okay, this is awesome. Alright, so wait. So, um, before we end the video, I guess we can get a little bit of a taste of what type of, like... If we can find any Itasha wraps for these cars. Um, characters, and then search. Let's see what we can find. Hopefully we can find some, uh, anime wraps for this, uh, for the Urus. Hopefully. I will say though, the uh, the rap uh, searcher on here is much better than it is on Forza Horizon 4. Like, if you guys don't remember, I've been complaining for the longest time, like how I cannot see the designs on these cars. But uh, here, it seems to work pretty well. It's not bad, not bad at all, actually. It's pretty good. Um, so far, I do not see any anime designs, though. Um, let me see. Kind of change the search, maybe? Okay, well, I'm actually starting to come to the conclusion that maybe there aren't any anime reps for the Urus uh, in Forza Horizon 3. Which I wonder, um, you know, if there's anybody still active on Forza Horizon 3. This is an old game now, and not a lot of people are actually able to buy this game anymore. Um, the only way you can actually get this game now is, uh, with a physical version of this game. And even if you do get a physical version of this game, you don't even get the game's DLC. So, yeah, you, you only have so much you can, uh, get from the game. Yeah, so far I can't seem to find any, uh, Itasha reps for the Urus. Um, yeah, I don't know if it wants me to actually, like, buy these or get these or something like that. I'm not interested in any of those. Um... Yeah, you know, I'll just I'll just go with the first thing that comes up. Yeah, actually, yeah, I'll do this one because that's a kangaroo on it. All right, so let's see here, my cars. Now I do have some. I do have some DLC vehicles. I'm pretty sure I can buy right now. I don't know. Can I not access? No, I cannot access the auto show. Yeah, this is kind of a little bit upsetting. I can't. I can't touch the auto show. I have so many DLC cars that I bought and I can't even touch them. Um, I'm going to try this is the paint shop. and see if I can Design find a paint job yourself or see what those other some Itasha kids out designs. There Oof. Oof. First one up. Oh my goodness, yes. The, the Palm Top Tiger. And I can actually see the design. That's crazy. Look at that. I can actually see the design. <laughs> it's almost kind of uh, unreal. Kind of crazy. I'm gonna look up here and see if we can do uh, character or cartoons. I will admit though, um, the only downside from being able to see all the wraps better, you have to scroll through just a little bit more to uh, find a wrap that you want. So that is a little bit of a downside. There's always a downside with 
stuff like this. You can either get everything you want, but then, you know, you gotta substitute something else, or you don't get everything you want, but it, 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 you get what I mean. <laughs> it's, it's like there's always some type of substitute you have to throw in, and it's kind of irritating. Okay, so yeah, we got the Torador Palm Top Tiger wrap for this ute. We seem to be a very bit scarce on um, Itasha wraps in this game. Um, also, do bear in mind, <laughs> there this is not a uh, Japanese style vehicle. But still though, you know, I would expect at least just a slight bit. Ooh, hold up. Ooh, okay. Rius from uh, High School DxD. Okay, okay. So yeah, we got Torador and we got Rius from High, D High School DxD. So I guess the best thing to do right now, since uh, anime wraps are scary, so let's go to the storefront here and let's see what type of designs they got. I'm assuming if they're doing stuff like this, yep. Yep, alright. So yeah, the best thing to do when you can't find stuff like this or find any Tasha wraps, just uh, follow the... Uh, designers of per people who have Itasha wraps like right here I'm probably gonna follow him too cuz if I follow him I'll most likely get some more Itasha wraps but yeah yeah I think that's gonna end today's video um, on Forza Horizon 3 at least me starting it um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video I'm really looking forward to uh, continuing playing through Forza Horizon 3 all the way up until the release of Forza Horizon 5. So I hope you guys enjoy this content and I hope you guys are enjoying my other content too. All the Tasha vehicles that I've been, you know, recording and making videos of. I've been doing a lot of traveling recently so yeah, if, if you guys are noticing all the videos that are on my channel now, that's me traveling, going to actual car events and actually taping people vehicles who have been who have Itasha wrapped their vehicles so yeah it's also a really really cool experience I do plan to be doing up more of those this year and throughout probably the next couple of years who knows whenever it ends hopefully it never ends but yeah hope you guys are enjoying those videos and I hope you guys are going to enjoy the next couple of videos on Forza Horizon 3. Like I said, I do plan on playing this game all the way until Forza Horizon 5 releases, and so far I'm kind of enjoying this game. Kind of wish though it was a little bit easier to get into. Um, it, it seems like the uh, introduction is longer than uh, Forza Horizon 4's introduction, which I guess they improved that on that in Forza Horizon 4, but yeah, it just seems to be a little bit, just seems to be taking just a little bit longer. <laughs> for uh things to move forward so yeah anyways i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did make sure to leave a like hope you guys are having a great day today and i'll see you guys in my next video